So where do I want to go from here? I got a contact table. I got a visitation table. Uh, you know, this this may be simple to deal with right now, being that I only have one contact. But what happens when I have 100 contacts, all with different visitations, and I want to be able to start deciphering between them? So let's go ahead and create a form. Let's well, first thing we need to do before we go and create a form is I want to create a reference between these two tables and uh, I'm going to explain what that is while I do it so I'll go to this create tab and somewhere in here should be the uh, referential uh, table to be able to build references and I'm trying to think where that is database tools relationships here it is it's under database tools relationships so we got these tabs on the top that we can go through to look for tools and then we got these buttons on the tabs and again I haven't used this in a while so it's hard uh, I'm trying to remember myself where things are uh, here's this relationships uh, form building thing so if I click on this uh, I get this window that I can add tables and queries to, right? And I need both of these. I need a contact and I need the visitation table. Those are the two I need. So I'm going to close this. And the only relationship I need right now is that this contact ID should be related to this contact ID right here. And when I get this, I get this relationship building dialog box. And uh, it shows the two fields from the both different things. And then I could just create it as is with what's considered no referential integrity. Uh, and uh, and um, let's see here. This update related fields and delete related fields thing um, relates to the fact that if I have a contact. Here, let me just try to explain this. If I have a contact over here and they have a bunch of visitation dates and at some time as I'm managing this database I decide to delete one of these contacts for whatever reason do I want to delete all their visitation records and if I do um, I can set up what's called referential integrity right so that I can just delete one of these records and it will automatically go and delete all the records that are related to it and I think that this is going to be a good idea for now okay and so with doing that uh, there's another thing that comes with this if I was just to click this by itself basically what this would enforce because that's the word that's used here enforce referential integrity um, it would require me to use only numbers in the contact ID column on the visitor table visitation table that relate that actually had a record in the contacts database I couldn't just create a visitation dates record for a contact ID that did not exist in the table that's what this is doing right now uh, if I do the update um, it, it's kinda doesn't really make sense for this situation right here because the, t the field is an auto ID field so um, because it's an auto ID field, it's never going to get updated. It's kind of set in stone in the table in the database. But say, for instance, instead of me using an auto ID, I happen to have like a, uh, I'm using the, the full name of the contact, and I know that that's going to be unique for Oracle. Oh, I could use the email address, say, for instance, for the contact, and, and pretend that that's going to be unique for every single instance of a contact. Um, uh, I, if they change their email, I would want to be able to update that value for all the days in the visitation table. Uh, so that could be key, but I'm just going to keep it selected anyways because it doesn't really matter either way. And then the other one here is this cascade delete records. Um, what this means is, going back to my original talking about I can't make a record on this side if I don't have a number on this side. Well, if I decide to delete a record on this side, I want to be able to delete all the records on this side. That's what's going to happen if I delete a contact, all of its visitations are going to get deleted. If I undelete this, it won't. 
but I'm kind of thinking that because of the referential integrity, it's going to be kind of weird that way. So I'm just going to click delete records here when I delete. Cascade delete. So I'll create that. Ah, and so now I'm getting this error saying it can't do what I'm asking it to do because there's another table open right now. That's so I can't do this right now because one of these is in design view, I think. No, it's just because they're open. So I just need to close these. Ah, there's a change that was made. All right, well, we'll just leave that alone. What was my change? I bet you it added. No, it didn't do that. Okay, well, I don't know. Let's just close it anyways. So now back to our relationships. We're going to take this contact ID. We'll get to the contact ID here. We're going to enforce referential integrity. Ask for both of those relationships. And plus create. Now we have this line here. And anytime I click on the line, it should show the relationship. It's not showing it the same way, but I don't know. Any, uh, let's just go ahead and close out of this. But this line is showing you that these two tables are related to each other.